This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to get the older version of uh, Granny 3, uh, just in case anybody wants to run it. There was a new update today that fixed a few bugs, but anyway, this is what you want to do. Um, head over to the description, download this, Depot Downloader uh, 2.44. Once you extract it, it should look something like this. And then uh, just also have your Granny 3 install uh, from Steam open as well. Just right click on Granny 3 in Steam and then browse local files. Once you're here, um, there is a command that we're going to have to type in. Uh, it'll be in the description. This is it. Uh, these little areas you do have to fill in. So I'm going to do that right now just because it's easier to do it. So the app ID, um, you can just get by going to steamdb.info, granny3, this will be in the description as well. Uh, copy the app ID, replace it with this. And then the depot ID, you can get that on this page as well. Oops, oh, right here. Depot ID is the same one, except uh, there's a one instead of a zero at the end, so just do that. Manifest ID, we're going to want the older one, which is when the game uh, first released on Steam. Go ahead and just uh, replace that here. Now here you're going to have to put in your Steam username and password. So yes, you do actually have to have Granny3 purchased on your Steam account for this to work. Okay, so I have, I have the command uh, copied now. Just go into uh, the Depot Downloader folder. Click the address bar, then type in cmd.exe. It'll bring up a command prompt window. And then from here, just paste that command. Remember, you do have to have your username and password in here, otherwise it will not work. Then just hit enter. It'll say connecting to Steam. And since I have two-factor authentication on my Steam uh, account, I have to type in the two-factor code. Once you type in the code, it should start downloading everything just like this. And there you go. It should. Uh, it, it might take a little bit longer for you. Mine didn't take too long because I already have it downloaded right here. But once you're here, um, if you notice, when you try to open the game, it will, it, it will, it will open the game. But once it gets past this uh, splash screen, it will, hopefully at least, <laughs> it will restart. Yeah, as you can see, it just stopped and restarted, and it's actually doing the newer version now. We do not want that. What we're going to do is take the files from the depot downloader. You only need these ones right here. We're just going to copy and replace them with the ones in the Steam folder. The one thing that I did after that was I went on Granny3, Properties, Updates, and Changes to up, only update this game when I launch it, and then just hit play. Uh, through Steam. So launch it through Steam, not from the actual program itself. And when you notice, um, after the splash screen goes away here, uh, you will be able to play the game. It will not restart. As you can see here, if we load into the game, uh, you should see that it is on the first version uh, without the uh, other tunnel and the bug fixes. Um, like I said, I'm not exactly sure if this is the best version to use anymore, uh, but it did it, it did work, and it's the one that I know. And as you can see, uh, there's no tunnel there, so we are on the older version now.